Greetings goons, gangsters, and gamers, it's your boy the Good Sir Knight, and today we're doing a review on the, again, on the Blue Force Gear, Vicar Sling. However, I actually was able to find a decent sale out in the wild, and I came across the Padded Sling. And the Padded Sling was something I wanted to review. They, uh, I was, I was afraid I was going to have to order them online, but I actually found them in a store here in Okinawa. At a cheap, discounted price, I was like... Oh, ho, ho. yes, I do want to do a review on this. There's a few key features I want to cover on the padded sling compared to the uh, more stock sling. I got the uh, woodland one on here, but we're going to be doing a little bit of witchcraft I'm going to teach you guys. And before we start, one of the reasons I was upgrading to the Vickers Gear Blue Force, or the ah, Vickers Gear, Blue Force Gear Vickers Slings was uh, I was interested in the, um, I had the, uh, was it the Pharaoh Concepts? Not the Pharaoh Concepts, the, uh, the yeah, the Pharaoh Concepts Slingster. And I was a little bit curious about this part. A few people online were very much convinced that this was a part that would easily break or cause trouble and stuff. And I was like, well, I don't know. I kind of like the simplicity and the uh, beefier design of the uh, Blue Force Gear Sling since I tried them out. I thought they were pretty cool, but I looked at this and I was like, you know, I'm curious. This did sort of like just show up one day, but this is a unique... There's something unique to the design of the... Uh, Slingster with this part here. I was like, well, it doesn't seem all that fragile. And I was out shopping the other day. Well, I was really just out with the wife and kids, you know, like you do. And I came across one of the resale military surplus shops and they had also for dirt cheap, a uh, classic Alice bag, like the little mid mid medium sized assault bag. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And it came with slings, no frame or nothing, but it came with the uh, freaking shoulder straps, no waist belt or nothing. But I was looking at the shoulder straps, and I mean, my father, also being a Marine, he had one of these. Although he kept his like in the garage, I never really saw much or had much of an interest when I was younger. But being more of an adult, I was looking at this, I was like, hey, wait a minute. There's something unique going on here, and I noticed these little pull tab adjusters. And I was like, hold, hold up. It's even got the same little glide through portion here. The only real difference is there's a like stopper bit of aluminum or metal over here that keeps it from going too far out, which isn't an issue on the sling. And this also tends to like catch on things I noticed, but you take this off and with the same spring loaded sort of like cam setup, it's practically the exact same thing, just on a sling. And those things, I've never heard once an issue of them breaking. In fact, I've actually heard people prefer the classic Alice Pack Sling. So I think I might have been, I might have jumped the gun a bit. Not like actually jumped the gun, but you get the idea. I might have jumped the gun a bit. I was like, you know what, actually, I think maybe Pharaoh Consoles was onto something. Their slings are fine. They are thinner than the Blue Force Gear Slings. These feel a lot more robust, but they are still a pretty solid product. So I wanted to... Start the video off with that. I feel like it's an important thing to note out there. I didn't want to be like too hard on them right off the bat. So, obviously the Slingster, or not the Slingster, <laughs> the Vickers Blue Force Gear Sling. It's a very simple, unique, robust design. Instead of using the spring guide, you got the little um, pull tab here. It all works on friction. Fewer moving parts, fewer things that could potentially break, even though I've seen and heard no historical record of them breaking. Comment down below if you've ever managed to black break one of those little freaking sling tabbies on either the Slingsters or an Alice Pack. I'd like to hear because I, nothing, I've heard they're practically indestructible. And with what they went through historically, they probably are. So, Slingster. When you get the more stock ones, this one's got the metal bits and bobs, but usually they'll come with the like plastic ones. If you get just the standard, like non padded sling, they like to tack the end on the uh, back portion of it onto the little metal clasper here and then you're like just left with the one up on the front so if we wanted to do some witchcraft this is going to be my pro tip of the day if we want to do some witchcraft and combine them which is something you can do on the website but off of the website when you get the padded sling because you need to adjust you're going to need to adjust it you don't know if you're going to want the padding closer to the back or conversely, maybe your sling's in a weird position, you need the padding closer to the front. So this is just uh, tri-glided off. 
But also, this end is tri-glided off, so you can really adjust the position of the padded sling. Smart! And because of the tri-glides, this is not Bartek sewn in. Instead, it is just set up with the tri-glide, so you can remove it. So, we want to put, for the sake of this video, we're going to put the padded part, the most interesting part of the sling, in my opinion, onto my main M4 blaster. But we're only going to use the padded part. But, as you noticed, I mentioned the back is like bar tagged in. So how are we going to pull that one off? We can't just unslide this bit and swap out that plasticky bit. So the solution? You're going to like this one. If you take the front tri-glide off, this guy up on the front here, then you can feed this through the back into here. And yes, I know we're not going to be able to combine all the metal and plastic bits, so we're going to have a bit of an abomination. But that lets you slide this freely off of here. And now we've just got the back portion. So with that going on, this is going to take some finagling. Bear with me. <laughs> we can pop this guy free. Ah, come on. All right. With this guy free, yeah, you got the whole same setup. Here's where it's tacked. So what we're going to do is we're going to free our QD mount. Free our QD mount. Set that aside. Free our metal tri-glide portion. And then we're going to feed this through the same manner. Because this is the part we're really interested in. And that lets us free that up off of the metal one. The metal one is, uh, I noticed the metal one is actually a singular thickness, whereas the other one's got a beefier end towards the front for the, uh, I guess they make the gliding a uh, bit smoother. So we're also going to need to take the QD off the back, because we need to move that. We're going to free this up real quick. I should turn on the AC. It's winter, fall, whatever, but only to such an extent. So we free that up, we're going to drop that down, we've basically separated the sling into two bits. Now we're going to take this one, before anything else we're going to mount that tri-glide, or the, not the tri-glide, words, I swear, I'm good with them. <laughs> we're going to take the QD mount, we're going to mount that in there, and slide this through here. I don't have enough metal tri-glides or I'd swap this all around. Now, one of the things I did mention before with the Blue Force gear, especially with the Vicar Sling, is they do have a customization portal. You can have this sling pre-made customized in advance. You don't need to do this insanity that I am apparently a fan of. So, with that, we got our QD mount on there. You just gotta attach the front end. So, to do so, that's gonna go that away. So we want to bring you through the bottom. I haven't, I've never actually done this before. This is all, we're doing this all live. So we're going to slide you through there and through here, right? Yeah. And we can set back on the metal tri-glide. It's going to go like so, right? Yeah, that looks good. And we'll take our QD mount. Slide you through here, and also slide you through here, and through the black magic I wield at will, we have created a uh, two-tone camo and solid color sling. So you got the, yeah, like I said here, this is actually a lot thicker on this end. I'm guessing for uh, the sake of re uh, more frictionary or something, but also getting lots of freedom. So. Metal in the front, and uh, durable injected mold in the back. Now, we can adjust the overall tightness from the middle, and the back is kind of only going to adjust so much. So how does the sling fit? How does the sling feel? It's not just a review, but a first impressions. We're going to lock this guy in place back here. Come on, play nice. Alright, 
Now you don't always need padded slings. Padded slings are great if you're running like more of a chest rig. I find the uh, standard sling issue material is fine if you got a plate carrier or something where the sling is less inclined to come into contact with your neck and stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to tighten that up a lot. <laughs> but padded slings when you're not wearing a plate carrier or any sort of like armor or anything, padded slings will go a long way in really helping with the, uh, the weight and overall fatigue you'll feel from your rifle. Although you could also just sort of man up a bit and be fine with the uh, thinner material like cut into your neck a bit, but it's not so bad. Let me fine tune this a little bit. So we're just gonna pop this guy free, pop this guy free, move that out for a bit, we're gonna bring you up to there, we're gonna bring you up to there, and come back through, go through here, yep. I really should turn that AC on. Alright. We got so much sling to work with, we might need to actually tape off material this time around. Bring that back up there. Won't fit one through my eye while it kind of taps out there. Alright, that's fine. How does that fit? Alright, so that's as tight as Mr. Sling wants to really cooperate with us. Tight enough to still get our angle, and if we need to go high port, we can still pull free. So this little tail, I'm not a, I don't like the tail hanging loose, I'm gonna have to tape that guy down with electrical tape, but that's the first time I had to use electrical tape. With the um, solid body, since this is just the same uniform material throughout, you can really adjust it, and you end up with these like tri-glides closer to the, uh, pat in, like into the padded portion, but it solves the issue. Some people don't like the metal, because it does, as you can see, Ting ting click on your uh, on your gun and whatnot. So yeah, you definitely can get a lot more. I, don't know, I think the plastic people like them. It's not as durable, but I've never heard people breaking these either. So you probably don't need the metal at all. But yeah, without a without a plate carrier, if we were running a chest rig or whatever, this would be a very very comfortable setup. So we can stay. Uh, not have any like really nasty gashes or anything. I mostly like the padding when it comes into contact with the neck. On the shoulder it's kind of whatever, though it is more comfortable. Into the neck you do get your slings and stuff to dig into the neck from time to time, so having the padded sling fixes that issue. The cool thing with the uh, Ferro Concepts that I liked with their padding is it can be easily taken off and it's relatively adjustable. And it's not crazy thick, like this is all like insulated, I want to say like that cellular whatever one that doesn't let any water or anything in or is this is just like a simple padded cover but it works really well despite being much thinner so this padded one it's uh definitely going to be overkill especially when you've got lighter weapons like an m4 or something like that but yeah it's comfy let's see how far back does it go yeah, it goes right over the shoulder blades, so it's pretty adjustable, but you can't run the tri-glides over it, so you will be limited into how much you can adjust it. So if you're like, if you got like a pencil thick body, you might want to stick with the uh, unpadded sling and just uh, work with it from there. If you, because yeah, with this, you can only adjust it so tight. This is more or less, we can adjust it a little tighter, but not by much. And I'm not like, hulking large or anything like that so padded sling if you've got at least a medium build i'd say if you got a skinnier small build you really slim guy then you either want to have your have it over your plate carrier or you're going to just go with like the stock sling so that's going to be my main upgrade for this i like it and then you get the two-tone back here yeah you go from your uh m81 so you got your camouflage was it bringing business in the front, party in the back? <laughs> we've got a, we've got a mullet. We've got a mullet sling, guys. It's great. I love it. But yeah, that's the, um, the video I've been putting off because I wanted to do this all on camera. So you get to see the live reaction and how to do it all. And now I've passed on to you the witchcraft powers to mismatch your slings as well, if you so desire. If you don't want to use their sling editing tool, which again is fantastic. 
and I want to make a multicam Tropic sling at some point. I want to get a whole multicam kit in Tropic. No, I'm not just playing multicam. Playing multicam is kind of eh, in my opinion. Tropic though, pretty pretty legit. I like the I like it. I like it a lot. So not as much as M81 though. M81 is close to the heart. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Look at that. I think that's pretty cool. I wish I had a a metal little, not a tri-glide, but whatever you'd call this. I wish I had a metal one of those. That'd be a lot cooler. I do think the uh, uh, the plastic one for the um, actual gliding portion, the plastic one, I think it's a bit smoother. And I've noticed, like I mentioned previously, this material just feels softer than this one. I'm guessing it's from the dyeing process or whatever they had to do to make this M81. But yeah, still comfy, still fantastic. And um, highly recommend the Blue Force Gear Vickers slings, both the padded and the standard. And yeah, uh, Pharaoh Concepts is still a very solid, solid second. It's really neck and neck in my opinion. You can have, I, I could have either one and be just about as happy. I just really like the robustness of this, although I've never heard of someone breaking a Pharaoh Concepts slingster. So if you've managed to break one, feel free to comment below. I'd be curious to hear and do include how if you did. I don't just don't be like oh, I broke it because it's it's trash. No, if you actually break one, just let me know how. Because usually people are like, well, I broke it. It's like, well, what were you doing? They're like, oh well, I threw it underneath a truck and then ran over it several times and set it on fire and it just broke for some reason. Whoa, quality control now. <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous. Um, and again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.